الحمد للہ والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله Listen to this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who shows us the importance of tawheed, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa taala alone, unlike the calls of others who say that tawheed can be studied in a few minutes. We're tired of tawheed. Uh, tawheed, you know, it's okay, but you know, I know tawheed. But if we ground ourselves and implement tawheed in our lives. And practice the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We can be assured of success, even if our deeds are few. So it shows us the importance of tawheed and ibadah and sadaqah. Listen to this hadith of uh, the hadith of Abu Dhar radiallahu taala. He reported, "I was walking with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam on the stony ground in Al Madina in the afternoon." When Uhud Mount came into sight, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "O oh, Abu Dar, I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, here I am responding to you." He said, "If I had as much gold as the weight of Uhud, it would not please me to have a single dinar out of it." It would not please me to have a single dinar out of it, with me after the passage of three days. But I would hold back something for the repayment of a debt. I would distribute it amongst the slaves of Allah like this and like this and like this. And he, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, pointed in front of him, on his right side, and on his left side. We then walked a little further, and he pointed in front of him, and on his right side and on his left side. We then walked a, f- a little further, and he, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said, "The rich would be poor on the day of resurrection, except he who spent like this, and like this, and like this." And he pointed as he did the first time, but such persons are few. Then he said, "Stay where you are till I come back to you." He, the Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, walked ahead a little further in the darkness of the night and disappeared from my sight. I heard a loud voice. I said to myself, "The Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, might have met a mishap or an enemy. I wish I could go after him, but I remembered his command in me to stay till he came back. So I waited for him. And when he came, I made mention of what I heard. He said, 'Did you hear that?' I said, 'Yes.'" Then he said, "It was Jibril, he who came to me and said, 'He who dies among your ummah, without having associated anything with the law and worship, will enter Jannah.'" I said, "Even if he committed illicit uh, sexual intercourse and steals, he Jibril alayhi salatu salam said, 'Even if he has committed illicit sexual intercourse or steals, ruahu bukhari wa muslim.'" In this hadith, habat fillah, it shows us the importance of actualizing tawheed. That to never ascribe a partner to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and that requires knowing what Tawheed is and knowing what Shirk is. This hadith also shows us that the Muslim, having firm faith in Tawheed, will go to Jannah. He will go to paradise, even if he has committed the major sins like zina and other things in this life. He stole. He was uh, oppressive. All of those things can be expiated and forgiven by Allah Azza Wa Jal. And, and and that shows us the most important thing. That doesn't mean all those other things aren't important. All of it is important to be righteous and to be a practitioner of iman. And that shows a, an illustration of your tawheed and your iman. However, if you never ascribe a partner to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, never committing shirk, hakkak or tawheed, give right, Allah, give Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala his right, then this will be. This is your path to jannah. And we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to bless us with Jannah to Firdaus. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
وسلم